There has been studies looking at nutritional deficiency and autism which can range from reasons such as poor food absorption to fussy eating. I'll talk about three main vitamins that have been studied and linked with autism symptoms. Vitamin B6 deficiency has been linked with autism. Vitamin B6 is found in many foods, it is important for brain development and function and helps the body to make neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are chemical messengers such as serotonin and dopamine that carry signals or messages between nerve cells for the body to function properly. One important neurotransmitter is GABA. GABA helps in sensory processing, mood, anxiety, stress and vitamin B6 acts as a cofactor by helping the GAD enzyme to convert glutamate to GABA. Vitamin B6 is also important in the breakdown of phenols. Phenols are antioxidants found in foods that help us with digestion, heart and brain function, but it was found that high levels of phenols in children with autism were associated with sleep difficulties, behavioural problems such as head banging or laughing inappropriately, as well as hyperactivity, especially if you have coexisting ADHD, as well as bowel problems such as abdominal pain and diarrhoea. While vitamin B6 is a useful nutrient, it is a false claim that your child has autism due to vitamin B6 deficiency and any claim that vitamin B6 can cure autism is regarded as false. And that includes suggestions that taking high doses of vitamin B6 can cure autism. In fact, high doses of vitamin B6 can lead to side effects such as headaches, depression and peripheral neuropathy which is when you get numbness and tingling of your hands and feet. Vitamin B6 is usually recommended to be taken alongside magnesium as magnesium helps the body to absorb vitamin B6 better. Magnesium, like vitamin B6, helps to break down phenol. There have been research into the link between magnesium and autism, with lower levels of magnesium seen with children on the spectrum. Magnesium helps with energy, sleep, cognitive and bowel functions, and deficiency can lead to fatigue, muscle weakness, sleeping problems, anxiety, stress, and it is thought that in children with autism, there is increased risk of behavioural problems such as stimming, sleeping difficulties, and hyperactivity in ADHD. Again, there is no evidence that your child is autistic because they lack magnesium, and that taking magnesium alone or alongside any other supplement such as vitamin B6 would cure autism while taking high levels of magnesium more than what the body needs can lead to side effects such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, depression, and cardiac effects such as irregular heartbeat. Another vitamin linked with autism is vitamin D3. Again, like vitamin B6 and magnesium, studies have shown lower levels of vitamin D3 in children with autism, especially vitamin D deficiency in pregnancy and early childhood. So while the mechanism of how lower levels of vitamin D can contribute to autism is not well understood, we know that vitamin D is important for brain development and cognitive function, as well as healthy bones and immune system. Now, vitamin D deficiency is more common in black and Asian people, pregnant and breastfeeding women, elderly, so it is important to supplement your diet with vitamin D if you're in any of these high-risk groups. I mean, there are other vitamins linked with autism, such as zinc, selenium, folate, vitamin B12, but autism is not just related to dietary or nutritional factors, eating too much of certain foods or lack of certain foods. And while you should make sure that your child has a balanced diet, there is an interaction of both genetic and environmental factors more complex than just vitamins that contributes to neurodevelopmental disorders such as autism and research studies are ongoing. I hope you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share, like and subscribe.